uh, video because I want to really un uh, make sure that you understand what I'm talking about because I'm going to be asking you about uh, your perceived exertion or what your perception of how hard it is that you did a particular exercise made you work. So every time I ask for an RPE number, I'm going to be asking you, basically, I want you to think of it in terms of how hard did this exercise make you work or how hard did one set make you work or how hard did all three sets make you work of a particular exercise. I want you to think of it in those terms. How hard did it make you work? If you're looking at this over here, this is RPE for cardio training. Uh, you know, we're usually not going to live in this area, the two, three, one range. We're usually not going to live in that area. This is maybe we're just starting something, you're either resting or you're, I'm introducing you on how to, how to perform a particular exercise. We're going to be working predominantly in this range, the four through eight range. I want to talk about moderate. Moderate is going to be broken down into low, which is the four, five, which is a solid moderate, and then a six, which is a high moderate. Uh, feels like you can exercise for hours, breathing heavily, and you could hold short conversations. This is usually when you're doing cardio, predominantly. Seven and eight is going to be um, where you're doing resistance training or maybe really hard cardio where you're sprinting or something like that. This is pretty much where we're going to be living usually when we're doing high-intensity exercises. The seven to eight category, the vigorous activity, on the verge of becoming uncomfortable, short of breath, and you can only speak a sentence at a time. Um, and, you know, the 9, 10 uh, is pretty much an area that we're not going to probably be at, um, you know, very often. 10, we're probably never going to be there. 9, we're hardly ever going to be there. Um, you know, these areas are going to be more for when you've mastered a particular exercise and we're looking to really, you know, maybe uh, try something new and, you know, really ramp things up. But in general, you're going to be working predominantly in this area between four and eight range. And again, I want you to think about in terms of how hard are, is a particular exercise working. This will help me in terms of um, finding out whether we should stay with a particular exercise, we should regress an exercise, or we should progress an exercise, um, you know, based on our goals and stuff like that. So I just wanted to make that quick little short video just so that you have it and you kind of uh, have a good idea because this is going to be one of the foundations of kind of how we're going to measure everything. All right. Hope all is well and I'll talk or see you soon. Thanks.